Brad Storm here with MMAMayhemRadio.com on behalf of OfficialXFC.com alongside with the mouth of the South, Ryan Gibson. I have the winner yes. right here in the featherweight division. We got, we got Dwan, Dirty South, sir. Owens. And you know what, sir? Yes, sir. Outstanding victory. You, Round Appreciate one. It. You guys were exchanging blows. What right. was on your mind? Honestly, man, uh, I'm going to be honest, man. I'll see him online. I thought he had uh, very good cardio. Uh, he comes to fight hard, but I thought skill-wise, I thought I had a big jiu-jitsu advantage and a big striking advantage. And a size advantage as well. Yeah, correct? I thought it was a little bit bigger too. But uh, his, his pace, now in retrospect, when I see how he was doing some of the guys, I immediately thought like, man, you know, these guys just aren't good. But okay, now right, I can right, see right. like he pushes a crazy freaking pace. And uh, from the third to the, the first well, to the third, he was... Well, you, you know, talk about the pace, though. The right. third round, you stepped it up, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. You went guns a blazing yeah. out there, yeah. and you showed the judges yeah. that you got the job done. What was your thoughts on that third round? I'm gonna be honest, man. Uh, the first round I thought was really close. Second round, again, I thought I did more damage, but he definitely controlled me. And uh, I'm gonna be, you know, between well, it ain't yeah, between but, us, but I'm gonna put it out there. Uh, I was a little discouraged when I went back to the bench. Second round, I'm like, you know, man, this is this is my shot. Yeah, yeah. You but, know, I put in a lot. Of, look, I got I got a wife, I got kids, man. I'm not I'm not playing with. I'm trying to, mm -hmm. and I thought, this is, this time is, this is money. My, right, time this is, is money. I'm like, this is my time, and I'm losing this fight. You know what I mean? And uh, I said, you know what? Win, lose, or draw. I'm not going to lose because I don't go all out there. So when I went out with that flying kick, I didn't know what I was going to do. Well, superb, but the third man. round, I said, I'm coming out with something crazy, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to stop throwing strikes. So unfortunately, you know, it, it lucked out my favorite. I didn't go out there and get clipped with something yeah, crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, that starting out like that, it kind of set the tone. It was like, oh. Well, yeah, so you, that, know, that helped. You, you had to step it up. And, you know, in right. MMA Mayhem Radio, there was a lot of heat between both oh, yeah. of you gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, both of you guys exchanging words back and forth. Yeah. But you know what? you got to settle things in the cage. No doubt. And I think the mouth of the South has something to say to you. What you got, baby? I mean, basically, on, on my card, I had it 29, 28 across the board. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you did have one referee or one judge that said it was a 30, 27. Right. I mean, this is what I, I, this is what I, I thought about that. I thought, I thought uh, the first round was close. But I thought I did more damage. I, I judge fights on damage. This is a fight. Right, right, right. Second round, he definitely won by control, but it's still mm -hmm. a win. But the margin by which I won the third round, I thought it was bigger than the margin he won the second. You right, see right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. definitely not 30-27. But when I heard it, I thought I had it because I knew I clearly, the only clear, clear win was the third. Now, so. now going from the second into the third, did your corner say you might be possibly down no, one my, round? My corner, he didn't say that, but he said that. He said, look, Juan, yeah. you got to go out there and you got to do this. You got to go Lay for the finish. You gotta, because it's so close. And look, let's be honest, man. This guy, he's got, you know, some notoriety. Oh, yeah. He's got right, some clout. Right. And he's got a multi uh, and not, no, 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 no diss on XFC, but he, he's an XFC guy. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm the newcomer. He fought for them twice. He got a multi deal. So basically, you know, he the champ. I got to whoop his ass. I can't just squeak by. So I knew in the third round I was going to lay it all out there. Whether I got clipped or something crazy, I'm going to go out there and mm -hmm. throw every, put every ounce of my being into that third round. And fortunately this time, you know, I didn't get reckless. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to still my, my favorite of the, of the whole match was the third round flying knee. Oh, yeah. Grabbed it back of oh, his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, caught him with that one. That was good. That was so, good. but hey. just to, to sign hey, off. Hey, you know what? Uh, you want to see him? Dwan. Dirty South Owens, he's coming for the attack here. He's going to tear up the XFC featherweight division. Hey, look, last but not least, KSI MMA, check him out for all your MMA gear and apparel. Besides that, look, all you 45s at XFC, you better hope to God I'm one and done and hope I don't get a, a three-fight contract. I'm telling you right now, I'm not laying and praying. I'm not jabbing. I'm coming out there whooping ass. I always put on a show, and I always fight. So all you stallers that's, you know, squeaking by, game over. you better check out my highlights, man. It just got real. All right, Peace. man. You guys check them out. MMAMayhemRadio.com at OfficialXFC.com. Check us out on Twitter as well at MMAMayhemRadio and at OfficialXFC.